Julie Andrews returns to the New York stage in a new musical review, Putting It Together, features the songs of composer Stephen Sondheim and opened last night at the Manhattan Theater Club. Roma Torrey reviews this review. I've never been a fan of musical reviews. They always seem like a cheap way of avoiding a story, something like skipping the healthy food on your plate and cutting right to the dessert. But then I sampled Putting It Together at the Manhattan Theater Club. Three women at the mirror in their garden, letter writing, flower picking, weather watching, how they may. Unlike most reviews, Putting It Together does have some cohesion. The songs aren't just tied together simply because they were written by the same person. There is a thread of a story, and the actors maintain consistent characters throughout. And so this collection of Stephen Sondheim creations is in itself a delightful piece of theater, almost earning the right to be compared to Sweeney Todd, Sunday in the Park with George, and all the other greats scored by Stephen Sondheim. Another reason for the success of putting it together, its ensemble of talents. Julie Andrews still sounds and looks pretty much like Mary Poppins, but she displays a great maturity now and a commanding presence. And it's clear she's not just on that stage because she's a star. She's just that good. Now listen, everybody, I'm afraid you didn't hear, or do you want to see a crazy lady fall apart in front of you? It isn't only Paul that could be ruining his life, you know. Well, both of us were losing our identities. I telephoned my analyst about it, and he said to call him Monday, but by Monday I'll be floating in the Hudson with the other garbage. But for all her celebrity, Andrews is still one of five performers, all of whom are distinguished because they're actors who sing. Sondheim's greatness is his lyrics, dramatic little stories framed by difficult tunes. Anyone can sing Sondheim, but it takes a special talent to act him. And so equal praise to Stephen Collins, Michael Rupert, and Christopher Durang. Oh, 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 wouldn't she be delightful living in and giving out? And a special nod to Rachel York. It's hard to be the only other woman on a stage with Julie Andrews, but she does a brilliant turn as a bimbo with brains. discover I always get my man. Putting it together is a together piece of theater. Actually, something of a gift from Sondheim with all his wit and humor wrapped around some very strong material. Credit as well, director Julia McKenzie and Bob Avian for some neat packaging. So what do I think of this review? Well, it is dessert, all right, but the kind that's good for you, too. I'm Roma Torre, and that's a wrap for New York One.